Hey, what's up? It's Chris Wicks. I got myself a new Nintendo Classic Edition. Look at that. And they only had 12 available. I got the first one. So excited. This is the NES Classic Edition. I'm going to do an unboxing. But look how small this thing is. It's super tiny, right? And it's got 30 games in there. Um, all the good classics and stuff. You figure for 30 games, two bucks a game plus the console, they probably were smart to make this only because the Raspberry Pi could do so much with emulators and ROMs that it's just a matter of time where the second version of this will have like a USB port. You know, the kind of, uh, kind of thing you could do with the Nintendo Wii. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing. I want to show you a little bit about the games. You know, it's got the Mario Brothers, all of them. Uh, Castlevania, even. How handy is that? Man, I had spent many hours playing these games. The only thing I remember with the old console is you couldn't save it. You had to leave it plugged in all night, whatever, tuck it away, put tape over the red thing. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to blow into this to get it to work. Um, that's how you power it on, right? Um, <laughs> maybe. So, this is like pretty cool, man. It's been a long time since I've had a Nintendo unboxing. Actually, and unboxing any new Nintendo at all, except maybe the SNES. But hey, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Now, the cardboard's kind of cool. It's not like you're paying for packaging. This whole thing was 64 bucks 65 bucks so as a console and games it's a lot better than a than two games at a downloadable content you know so i'm gonna go ahead and just open this up uh my nintendo redeem these points so hopefully you don't steal my points we got the nest classic edition instructions and quite a pretty big uh page for the classic edition in different languages. Here's a poster that you get. It's got the duck hunt, you know, typical. It's got the little robot and everything. So, gyro might. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I'm gonna plug it in and maybe see what we can do for you to see. I'll just swivel around and point it at the TV. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just look at this thing because I'm real excited. It is very small. Very small indeed. It's so dinky. Comes in a little pouch. So dinky. Oh my goodness. It's like a little tiny Nintendo. Oh. Can I, oh I can't open it to blow it. They should put like a kazoo. So you can blow in. I'm still gonna pretend, I, I promise. But I don't know how bad my lighting is, I'm sorry. Uh, it's got two uh, proprietary plugs. It's got a power and reset like normal. It's got an HDMI and it's got a DC in. So we got some awesome, awesome, little, so light. I swear, it's probably just the USB with the emulator on it. Uh, it does have save ports available, so you could save it. Came with one controller. Seems to be about the same size as the uh, as the other Nintendo controllers. I'm not sure if the plugs are going to be compatible. I doubt it very much. Yeah, the plugs are way different, you guys. So the plugs are different. Uh, sorry about the lighting. And uh, it's got the same feel, it's about the same size as I remember as an old controller. I know a lot of people uh, turn these into like vape mods, <laughs> you know, for a while. So um, yeah, let's take a look and see what else is in here. You get a little tiny dinky plug. Don't lose that, right? Oh cool, they give you an HDMI cord. I, I got one out. I got one out because I didn't know, but that's cool. Okay, so it comes with an HDMI port, which if you even if you go to like 99 cent store, you can get a six footer. Uh, most HDMI's, you know, they could run depending on 
how long you want the cord, but that's cool. It comes with it. So I'm um, curious to see what this is all about. It's got a USB. I'm going to have to connect it to the TV in just a minute. Let me take a quick vape. But there it is. The little tiny Nintendo. Super tiny, right? Uh, shame on you if you went out there to buy one just for the sake of selling it to somebody for more money. That's kind of jerky, right? If you're going to buy one, buy one for you and enjoy it or for the family. Tuck it away for Christmas. But don't just go out there just to hawk it, man. This isn't tickets. This is nostalgia, and everybody deserved to have one, man. There was only seven people in line for 12, and all of us just got one, and we were all happy about that, you know? So, uh, you know, keep that in mind this holiday season. Stop fighting people over toys and take more than you need and trying to sell it to somebody else. Um, I know opportunities knock, but this is nostalgia. Let everybody have one. Anyways, this is Chris Wicks. I'm going to hook it up and get some gaming. All right, so here's the menu option. Uh, it's listed as one player and two player games. It only comes with one controller. That's how short the cord is. That's how short it is. Could you have not made the cord another two feet? I would have paid an extra five bucks. Hell, I would have paid an extra ten bucks for another controller. You know, uh, that is super close. It's almost as to sit in your lap. The cool thing is, is it's powered simply by a micro USB. So you can plug that bad boy into, say, uh, heck, you can plug it right into a portable battery charger. All right, let's get this party started. Uh, the first part of it was a language selection. I skipped that already. It's got a Nintendo feel music. It's got a nice ditty, but it's nothing that you remember. So it's kind of a mix from Super Mario's 2 with a little flair and everything. Um, with kind of like a Zelda appeal. So I did read in the instructions, if you leave it on for an hour, it'll turn itself off automatically. And if you're in a game, it saves it, yeah, it saves it for you. Uh, so it's got 30 games from Excitebike. Uh, everybody's got some favorites. This one, Ghosts and Goblins, is one of my near and dear favorites. Uh, so we got Menu, we got Display. Uh, it's already set to a 4-3. Let me change it over to Pixel Perfect. I don't really see the difference. Maybe I will when I'm playing. Uh, I like to go through the options and see what's going on. Demo. Auto shutdown. Okay, so you can turn auto shutdown off. Screen burn. Nice. Just getting familiar with the options here. Language. There's. That's what you see when you power it on. Legal notices, huh? I guess all these other games have other makers, so thanks for coming together. Uh, you can review the original manuals by taking a photo or going to that bad boy there. Alright, let's see how clean, let's play some two player Gradius maybe? One player Gradius? Oh, this is smooth already, I like it. Oh, I, I messed up already. Trying to turn the volume up. So this is classic Gradius. Um, I don't know about you, but it, it has such the right feel to it. Everything's super responsive, emulates the games perfectly. I know with ROMs and emulators, what you'll get is, uh, well, you'll get like that, that delay. You know, um, 
Sorry, I'm on concentrating. It's been a while since I've played this game, or played any classic Nintendo games. And I tell you, with that second controller, if they map out that longer controller option, this shit's gonna be tits, dude. It's gonna be sick. Um, I love gaming. I love classic gaming. Dude, you're in the matrix with these games. You're either in the moment and you can get by, or you can't, you know? There's no, like, do-over. There's no smooth zone. That's what I want. Love that option. There's my buddy. There's my buddy. <laughs> Alright, so it's getting pretty risky. And I'm spilling Coca-Cola on myself while I'm playing, you guys. This is so sad. Uh, I'm just... I'm Neo, dude. I'm Neo. I haven't played this game in forever. Are we at a boss? We're at a boss. Oh, and I died by the volcano. Nobody reminded me of the volcano. So here you have it. Uh, let's see. I could pause. That's cool. Let me fix my spilt soda. Let me take a vape. I'm real excited. Everything I was complaining about, I totally don't care. Uh, set the Nintendo on your lap if you have to. Run an extension cord. Get an extra long HDMI. Or just connect it to the back of the monitor that you're using for your computer. I mean, I could put this thing right over on my computer desk and plug in the power source in the USB port of my computer. I think that's amazing. It's a really versatile device. Uh, let's see if I can go back. Uh, how do I save it? See, can I save it? I don't know how to save it. All right, I'm gonna hit reset. I hit reset and it saves it. So to save your game, you hit reset. I press down here if I, I can go to a new game or oh, you know what? I'm gonna go play the other game. Uh, I'm gonna press down. Oh, there's my save. Okay, let's start. And it's paused. And I'm right back to gaming. So you can answer that phone call, go take out the trash, all that fun stuff that you gotta do when you're a kid, right? Well now, I can. Yeah, I, I used to love playing these games, man. It's all coming back. Uh, well worth the price. Um, yeah, it happened again. Let's hit reset. Pause it. Reset. Let's try a new game. So we got 30 games to go by. Is that Punch Out? Punch Out. Punch Out! I wonder if the old codes work. Let's see what I can get out of Glass Joe, right? I forgot which button does what. So as you can see, it's pretty cool, pretty cool interface. The cord's the only problem. The cord's the only problem. I keep tugging on it. Uh, I'm a good six feet away. That's about average for a 38, 42 TV. 46, whatever this is, and between the six foot of the HDMI cord they give you and the two foot cord, I'm barely two, three arms length away from the TV. So, upgrade to a longer HDMI cord, sit closer to the TV like we used to, and uh, oh, that's cool. You can sort it by different things. Um, let me, I want to see this CRT filter option. Simon's Quest 2, Castlevania 2. So it gives you that fuzzy CRT TV look to make it really authentic. But it's just kind of blurry, so we're gonna... I like it, it's cool. But it's 2016, man. Let's get some HDMI going, right? Oh, 
Well, let's see what happens with uh, four three. Four three is good. I'm gonna break it. I keep jumping out, but that's it's me to do. Buttons pushed. I mean, you got the HDMI. Why well, as well pixel perfect, right? Yeah, there we go. So it's real responsive because it is corded. I gotta tell you, I'm really uh, happy about the corded than wireless, even though you only get two and a half feet. Um, yeah, this is ideal. Fire, fire. Come on, Simon. Give me the dagger, the dagger. Wah, 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 wah. Would you like some tea, you dears? No, thank you. Go away. I don't want your cookies. I didn't want them 75 years ago, and I still don't want them. Money, 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 money. But where do you put all that? Oh. Remember, remember. Castlevania. I'm sorry, I'm already playing. Uh, I'm going to jump off, you guys. This has been kind of fun, but I'm going to play in silence. And you guys can go get your own. I'm going to scroll through some of the games you can see. Castlevania, Gradius, Punch-Out. What else? Simon's Quest. That's pretty in-depth. Classic Donkey Kong. Shut the front door. Classic Donkey Kong. I'm so glad I bought this. Donkey Kong. I really like how you can hit reset and just go to a different game and it auto saves it. Way cool. So I don't know what happened to my Gradius save point. I'll have to figure out how all this works. Gives you a little mini picture of all the smaller games. It is on. I wasn't really good at this game. And that's why I don't play it. Okay, so um, as you can see, 
it is pretty cool for what it is. I'm really stoked. A little nostalgia came my way. It's got an HDMI on the back, the regular, like a Samsung phone charger power cord, and the front panel is fake, so you can't open it. Uh, the power button reset worked good. These uh, only complaint, only complaint ever really, is the shortness of the cord. You're getting about two feet, two and a half feet. So what you'll have to do is usually, you know, you like to put your console kind of by the TV. This thing, you're gonna wanna run an extension cord and put it like on the nightstand to your left where you normally like put a soda. Um, that way you can make sure the power plug stays connected and you're real close to the controller like you would I would put it about as far distance as you would put like a wireless phone home phone receiver Than when you're chilling on the couch or something so yes, it's cool And I'm glad I got to show you some footage or whatever the menus and stuff um, I'm real excited about it guys go out and get one A little Nintendo classic edition Score! What an adventure, huh? Be good humans. You guys take it easy. Bye now.